All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan. We're taking a look at my new sequencer, Uda. This time, we're looking at the standalone version. And I'm gonna use it to control hardware synth, in this case, my OP-1. I've got this kind of fun, nice dark synth, uh, string sound. And I wanna use Uda to control it. So to connect your synth to your iPad, you need an adapter like this. In my case, I have a USB-C to USB adapter. If you have an older iPad or an iPhone, you'll need a Thunderbolt um, or oh, lightning, lightning connector. And then I've got this USB, connect, USB cable, and I'm just gonna connect those up. Okay, so we still have sound there. Uh, let us first off connect up UDA to our synth. So we need to set it as a destination. I'm going to set it as a destination for the all outs output. I'm going to set that to my OP1. And UDA is going to remember what you've selected, so the next time you connect the same synth, you're not going to have to come into this menu. I am going to disable the audio engine, uh, even though we wouldn't be able to hear it anyways. I do have the option to toggle on and off the audio sidekick synth there. I have the option to send MIDI clock. I'm not going to do that because it'll kind of start the tape on my OP1. Now, this MIDI sources, I can use the OP1 to send MIDI into UDA and record notes. And if I wanted to do that, I would just select the OP1 there. But I'm going to use uh, UDA's internal keyboard instead. So I think that's all we need to set up. Let's hit record and let's bring up the keyboard. So I can actually hear that my OP1 is being triggered. Let's undo that. It looks like I need to kind of bring down the octave. So let's uh, bring down the tempo a little bit. Maybe change the pace, change the direction, just bring in another voice, an octave below on half notes. Octave up, and let's only have it play some of the time. I'm already having a lot of fun. It was really easy to set up. Uh, just a reminder, if you're using uh, a, sequence, a synth that responds to CCs, you can use these modulation outputs and send them directly to your synth. You're able to adjust the CCs as you need. Um, everything else I think is pretty much covered in my other videos. We do have Ableton Link we can use to stay in sync with other devices. One thing that I really like to do is keep my two iPads in sync with one another using Ableton Link so I can have different iPads controlling different synths. Um, these are some of the perks of being a developer. You have multiple iPads. Uh, we can connect to Bluetooth MIDI devices as well. And um, yeah, that's about it for the standalone. I'll do another video on using UDA on the Mac. 
Um, so just have fun making music. Love to see how you're using it. Use the hashtag Uda Sequencer so I can see what you make and, and maybe reshare it. Uh, and subscribe to the channel. Leave a review if you like it. Thanks so much for watching.